Check this out, this is cool. About six years ago, I had this idea that when AI arrived in our lives, and it seemed clear at that point that it was gonna happen pretty quickly, that, that it would basically begin vacuuming up the patterns of our brains. It would play on our instincts in all kinds of ways that we weren't really ready for. And I thought, okay, well, if I can, maybe, maybe I can prepare people for that in some way. And my theory was that if I could give people kind of a crash course in how our brains work in a way like, like how they make decisions and, uh, you know, the unconscious instincts that govern so much of what we do. And, and if people understood those, then maybe they'd be in a position to resist when AI began, you know, and companies deploying AI began like throwing those things at the, those instincts into the AI systems and having them sort of kick them back at us. And so, and I just come from this big experience of doing a multi-year, um, documentary series about how our brains make those kinds of decisions. And so I decided to write a book that would combine decision science and AI stuff in this kind of overview of technology and how it would mess with our brain. And I called it The Loop, uh, how technology is, sorry, how AI is creating a world without choice and how to fight back. And I'm just now opening for the first time the paperback, uh, looking at it for the first time, and it looks awesome. Uh, with a new forward by the author, because even though this thing came out in 2022, you got to update it right away because it's so, things are moving so fast. In fact, I think, if I remember correctly, the introduction, the new forward is, it's been hard to watch it all happen so fast. And that is right. So, anyway, this comes out in October in paperback. The Loop, How AI is Creating a World Without Choices and How to Fight Back. Have a look, please. I would really appreciate it. And if you, if anybody out there has a, a show or a podcast or anything else where you're thinking about AI and what the big long-term implications are, how we might regulate it, why we all seem to be so ready to let it do our homework and write our wedding vows. Talk to me. I'm ready. Thanks.